Hey everybody, did you know that for a couple of months in the past fall, I worked as a cafeteria worker in a public school system? It was kind of fun, and due to that, I saved these. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to do now. Ta-da! How do I look now? <laughs> I saved more, but... I just wanted to show you that was a really important thing for working in cafeterias. You have to keep your hair out of the food. So there's one thing, and I've been saving a ton of articles that I may or may not be able to find the dates of from the Hartford Current and other sources. The first one that I'm going to talk about is Cafeteria Fight, and this one, along with the second half, takes place in Bristol. Don Stockholm wrote it. It's about ununionized um, school cafeteria workers. They're protesting the private contractors coming in. And what union workers have stated is that having private companies come in, they're very greedy, they're money hungry, and they will do anything to get you the lowest costing workers and that means that the quality of work may be less so instead of getting that smile hey how's your day sweetie and making sure that the kids get all the important nutrition each day they might let a few rules slide or even do something as careless as not washing their hands, um, something as lazy as not filling a napkin dispenser because kids don't normally use napkins. So these type of things are what the union workers wanted to avoid in Bristol and they want to keep their jobs. I know the reason that I quit was not because I didn't love it. I loved working in the cafeteria but it was two hours a day on a part-time basis because I was a substitute worker and I was filling in mainly for um, maternity leaves. But if I was a full-time worker, it's still the two hours, five days a week at a very low pay. And my job was two, three towns over so the commute was not worth the pay. And I feel so bad that I can't work there anymore. I'm not gonna say what town that I worked in. It wasn't Bristol. That was for an internship earlier. But I really hope that these people got their jobs because privatization equals corruption. I totally believe that. So here's a copy of those articles. Hey, that's so much better taking it out. Um, the next article that I want to talk about is the push for fresher foods in our schools. And it starts out talking about Rick Hutton, who is a fruit grower, and how he wanted to push to get his crops into schools. Now, he's looking at it monetarily, but also think about the health factor of having these kids have safer and more yummy, healthy snacks and side dishes to their meals. If you remember Friday's pizza day, pizza's not the most healthy of things, but there's other items that we get from local farms, such as apples, oranges, um, to name a few. And the New Britain school systems claim that 10% of their money, or $3 million, is allotted to fresh food, which is a great number. And the article goes on and talks about Glastonbury wanting a little extra, 
to keep their momentum going. These schools are now offering breakfasts and lunches, so putting all of that together really means healthier eating is important for these kids. And I should hope that we're not just stopping at using wheat products instead of white for the breading, the pasta, the pizzas, and things, but also going that extra mile for fresh fruits and vegetables. The last article that I've saved is from Wednesday, November 13th of last year. Not too far away, and I saved the date on the top so that I'd remember it. Most of the time you'll see that I write it down or save it just for a little reminder. I really like this opinion article because it talks about the Facebook page and people discussing the government's right to ban trans fats in schools and everywhere else. And I've highlighted a few people's opinions that, in my opinion, are kind of the only ones that really matter because they've justified what they believe. Dawn Cooper says 15 states have banned trans fats already and she wants us to compare the morbidity between the states and those that haven't yet. She wants randomized clinical studies, which I think is a great thing because then it may open Americans' eyes to, hey, maybe the government knows what they're talking about and they're not trying to control us. Like, I think it's Holly Brown. No, 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 sorry. Someone else was stating in the article. Um, next, Marty Townsend said, you want to start a revolution because the government is making you eat healthier donuts. It's not banning donuts. It's just saying, let's eat donuts without trans fats. And Holly Brown, as I mentioned, wants us to consider our obesity rate is incredibly high and our death rate from heart disease and other diet related factors are extremely high so the government should be doing what it is doing to try to save us and if it tries to save us it can get more money in taxes that's my spin on things so i'm not going through the entire article if you can find it it's called talk to ed page on facebook and like I said, it was published Wednesday, November 13th on page A11, in case you wanted to know. And it's a really cool article. And next, I'm going to show you what trans fats are. exactly are trans fats and if you're not quite sure you are not alone don't feel bad hit the streets of chicago to get the skinny on what people know and don't know about trans fats it's like lard it's fat that hardens in your arteries they're bad for you but do you know what i food? don't know specifically what they are but i know they're in food and i know they were created and they're not natural is our Fox nutritionist Don Jackson Blanner with the Fat Facts One of the, the hot oh, topic of the trans hot, yes. fat. This what is, is the it? second bad boy on the block. This is trans fats. This is artificially created. So we take liquid oil, mm -hmm. pump hydrogen in it, so it becomes hydrogenated, and that is a trans fat. So that means margarine. Margarine is a liquid oil that has hydrogenated oils in there. It is a trans fat, and so like fries as well. Potatoes are not. We want to no clarify that. Potatoes it's just what get they're fried in to uh -huh. trans fats when they're fried and then they become very high in So fresh.